Hi, this is Not Too Fast here. In this video, I will show you this new TV box I just picked up. This one I have here is the B-Link GS1 6K TV box. If you've never seen or heard of a TV box, what it is is a very compact device that runs Android operating system and it allows you to watch movies, play games, surf. So this becomes your media center device. Let me go ahead and unbox this and I'll talk more about the spec on this unit. Here is a B-Link device. This is the AC power adapter. Here's the HDMI cable. User operation guide. Also comes with a remote control. Here's a look at everything you get with this unit. And let me go over some of the spec on this B-Link GS1 Android TV box. Inside the unit is a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 processor. The GPU is a Mali T720 MP2 graphic processor. It has 2 gig of RAM and 16 gig of ROM. This box runs on Android 7.1. It features a gigabit Ethernet port, dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz, Bluetooth 4.1, and a HDMI 2.0 port. This unit has the ability to decode H.265 or HEVC video in the format of 4K at 60 frames per second or 6K at 30 frames per second. You can also connect an external hard drive with a maximum capacity of 4 terabyte. As you can see, this unit is very sleek and compact. Looking at the back, here we have the DC power port. Next to it is the USB port. In the middle, we have the HDMI port. This is the gigabit ethernet port. On the far right, this is the digital audio output port. On this side, we have a USB 3.0 port. And next to it is the micro SD memory card slot. Here's a look at the back. Now I also picked up this 2.4 gigahertz wireless air mouse for the TV box. Let me open this up and I'll show you what this remote control looks like. Here's a look at the front. And here's a look at the back. We have a full QWERTY keyboard. On the right side, you can open this cover. That's where you install the battery. And here's the USB transceiver to communicate with this remote control. Here's a look at how I've connected this to my TV. On the right side here is a power cable to power this unit up. In the middle is a USB memory stick where I have some movies and music and I can use this box to play it onto my TV. Next to it is the HDMI cable that goes to my TV. On the left side here is the USB dongle for the air remote control. Here's a look at what you'll see when you first boot up the TV box. The first screen is a welcome page asking you to select the language. And right now English is selected. Go to next. Select the time zone. Next. It'll ask you to select the screen size. I'll leave it the way it is. Next. Now select your access point. With the internet connected, I see a system update. Go ahead and download this. So here you're looking at the main homepage. It has a very nice clean layout. And you can navigate to any of these buttons on the screen. So for example, if I press this top button right here, here you can choose your media files that you might have on your USB drive. Below that we have the browser. It will open up Chrome. Next we have Play Store. And with Play Store you can install any apps or games you want. Below the browser we have the File Explorer button. Here you can manage the files on your system. Next to it is the Setup button. As you can see, this TV box is running Android 7.1 Nougat. Moving over to the left, we have the installed apps. Over here on the right side is where you can add more shortcuts for your apps. So if you press on the plus and minus sign right here, you can choose additional apps. When you go back, now you see those apps added. Now you can also scroll all the way to the left or the right for additional pages where you can add more apps.
One thing I do want to point out is if you're not getting any sound on your HDMI output, you want to go into your setting, go down to sound, select audio output mode, and you want to select audio HDMI for the output. Now we can go back. And if we were to play a video, Now you can hear the audio on a TV. I've gone ahead and installed some additional apps like Terrarium TV, Kodi, and Netflix. Now with Netflix, if you go to the Play Store, you will not find the app to install because this B-Link box is rooted. And if the box is rooted, Netflix app is not available. Now you can go to a website called APK Pure and search for the app. Let me open that right now. So here's APK Pure website. You can search for the Netflix app and here it is. Download it. Next you'll need to use APK installer and install the app. Now when I go to the Netflix and in Netflix I can open up the show and play it. As you can see, I also installed a YouTube TV app, which I'm subscribed to. And to install that, you do need to fake the GPS location because the app will need to identify your location during setup. And since the TV box is rooted and does not have a GPS chip, you need to install an app called Fake GPS that you see right here. Let me open that. With this app, you can set your location to anywhere you want. Now you can watch YouTube TV. In this episode of American Greed. 911, what is your emergency? Americans are dying by overdose in record numbers. And in Mobile, Alabama, two doctors. Here you're looking at a 4K video being played on this B-Link TV box. The resolution is 3840 by 2160 pixels. As you can see, this B-Link TV box has no problem processing this video. There are no freezing or buffering. As for the wireless air mouse remote control, I really enjoy using this. You have the convenience of turning on the air mouse by pressing this button right here. You also have the back button, home button, volume up and down, mute. If you flip it around, you have the full QWERTY keyboard so you can quickly type things in. Very nice and convenient. Now this one here is the original remote control that comes with this B-Link TV box and it works very well. And I was able to quickly navigate using the buttons on here, but the air mouse will speed things up a bit more because once you turn on the air mouse, you can just point to wherever you want to and then select it. Press the air mouse button right here. Now you see the mouse cursor on the screen. I can select the browser. Now, if you're new to these type of TV boxes, 
These devices can be set up to serve as a media center for your home entertainment system. With the Android platform, you can install many of the apps in the Play Store, and you can include all your social media apps or video streaming apps along with games, so you can set it up and customize it however you like. Now having said that, some of these video streaming apps do require some custom setup to make them work. Now I got this B-Link TV box on GearBest.com and I will include the link in the description below. I also want to let you know that for the month of March, GearBest will be celebrating the 4 year anniversary. There will be a lot of sales happening starting on March 20th all the way through to the beginning of April. So if you have a chance, go check it out. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comments section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.